Hi everyone, so I've been using iPhone 15 Pro since it was released and this is my second S24 Ultra. The reason I'm comparing it with 15 Pro, not 15 Pro Max, there are basically two reasons behind it. One, uh, except for US, most of the countries, the S24 Ultra will be cheaper than the iPhone 15 Pro base model itself. So price wise, it makes sense. And the second reason is more personal because I like smaller phones and this is a pro phone. If there was a smaller Ultra, I would have gotten that, but there isn't. So if you still think that this comparison is unfair, feel free to go. You don't need to watch this video. But for the rest of us, let's start with the design. I got titanium color of S24 Ultra just for this comparison. I'm kidding. My favorite colors still are the orange and the blue, but this color is also growing on me. I feel like S24 Ultra looks better because of its shape, but it feels worse in the hand because of the same reason. It is really heavy and the corners are sharp. This is one of the biggest reason I pick my 15 Pro when I'm going out for small work like gym or market. It is easier to use this phone with one hand. I think in the end it comes down to the comfort of your hand because they both are premium devices. They're both using the titanium body. They both have glass front and back. It has that matte finish. So if you want to use this phone without a case, it's fine. The problem with S24 Ultra, if you have small hands like me, you have to use a case. I'm using this Pitaka case with it because the thing is, I am scared that I'm going to maybe like lose the grip on it. With iPhone 15 Pro, I've been using it without case for months and it held up pretty well because I am not scared of dropping this phone. When it comes to the front of the phone, I feel like S24 Ultra wins in so many ways. The smaller cutout, the rectangle shape and the anti-reflective coating. The higher brightness and the control over the color saturation makes S24 Ultra one of the best display out there. But it is not perfect. It lacks Dolby Vision and it has that graininess issue that a lot of people complain that in lower brightness you will see some dots on your display. The PWM flickering is still not good on both of these phones. Even this Nothing Phone 2A has a better PWM flickering. So it's 2024, Apple and Samsung, please do something about it. The speakers are slightly better on 15 Pro. Let's listen to this. The S24 Ultra is a little bit more loud, but I think the iPhone 15 has that a little bit bass. So if you're watching content, I think S24 Ultra will be better. But if you're someone who listen to music on their phone, iPhone 15 Pro will be better. Let's talk about the performance now, which I usually used to skip because iPhone had an upper edge for a long time. But I think after the S23 series, Samsung has been doing really good. And for a fact, I know that the S24 Ultra is definitely performs better, especially in thermos than the iPhone 15 Pro. I know iPhone 15 Pro is still powerful, but when it comes to day-to-day -day usage, I can see that iPhone 15 Pro, even the 15 Pro Max gets hotter if you are clicking picture or using it under sunlight. So when it comes to thermos, S24 Ultra is better. And I think for a lot of people, it is more important than sheer power. That being said, they both are the best phone in the market when it comes to performance and gaming iPhone can play AAA games, not sure how many people do it, but you can. And even S24 Ultra is capable to do it, but there are no games available for Android as such. But for performance and thermals, I will definitely pick S24 Ultra over iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. They both are great when it comes to call quality, sensor, network speed, Wi-Fi, etc. But S24 Ultra has an upper edge because it has S Pen. I don't use it very much, but there are certain things that can be done with a stylus very easily. So it's a good to have that option. But if you want better haptics, I think iPhone is a better choice. The charging speed is also better on S24 Ultra. You get 45 watt charging with S24 Ultra and around 27 watt with the iPhone 15 Pro. There's no fixed number. So the S24 Ultra takes around one hour to fully charge where the iPhone takes one hour 40 minutes. And if it's iPhone 15 Pro Max, it will take approximately two hours. And when it comes to the battery life itself, uh, they both are great actually. So if I just talk about screen on time for one day, I can get around eight hours from my iPhone 15 Pro and over 10 hours from the S24 Ultra. I think it's a draw when it comes to battery because of the size of the battery as well. iPhone 15 Pro is considerably smaller. If you compare it with 15 Pro Max, they will be neck to neck. But if we just talk about value, S24 Ultra definitely wins here with the battery and even the charging. 
Before talking about the camera, I want to talk about the software. No, I'm not going to compare iOS versus Android here. The thing is, I love both of them. I use them side by side. There are things that I like about iPhone that the app's compatibility is much better. I think even the design and animations are better on iPhone. But when it comes to flexibility and there are a lot of things like even a simple PDF removing password, that simple thing, I always go for my Android phone to do that. So when it comes to flexibility, I choose this. I always used to think that iOS was most reliable because it has been the case for a long time. But recently I have found a lot of bugs on my iOS 17 on this iPhone 15 Pro where the One UI 6.1 has been really great on S24 Ultra. Yes, the animation and app support are still better on iOS, but Samsung has come a long way. One more slight advantage is the artificial intelligence that is baked in Samsung, which I won't go over in this video, but you can check my S24 Ultra video for that. Now the main reason people spend so much money to get flagship phones is their flagship cameras. So the S24 Ultra has an advantage because it has that 5x telephoto lens and it has only 3x. It also has 3x so it actually has one more telephoto lens. If you get 15 Pro Max you get that 5x but you don't get the 3x. So let's compare them and see what is the advantage of that 5x over this 3x. Let's start with the ultra wide lens. So for the most part, iPhone does perform better when it comes to the ultra wide. Yes, you will see a little bit more noise in iPhone as you can see on fan side. But apart from that, if you see outside the balcony and even if you see on the table, the dynamic range handled by iPhone is much better. In the next shot, as you can see on the right side, the house, you can see there is our square boxes on the wall, which you can easily see. But with Samsung, you won't be able to see it. Even if you see the plants, I think the dynamic range on the pots are much better as compared to Samsung. If I talk about the macro shots, it is going to be personal preference. So the Samsung has a little bit more sharpness, but I think that shot will look good if you want to post on social media. But if you want to talk about a natural bokeh and the depth of field, the iPhone does perform better. If I talk about the front camera, as you can see, the iPhone is doing much better when it comes to dynamic range. Look at my face and look at the sky behind. The iPhone is able to handle that light much better but somehow it is more cooler but if i talk about my skin tone i think the samsung is doing a little bit better job there if you see the next shot you can also see in my hair there is a halo effect going on which is the case with samsung for a long time i don't know why they're not able to fix that particular part even the edges of the wall you can see that as well it's a different story of the skin tone when it comes to low light here i think iphone is doing a much better job look at samsung like it has washed out my skin tone and the iphone has much better details on my face if i talk about the portrait as well as you can see from the front camera iphone is doing slightly better job than samsung as you can see on my hair if i talk about the main sensor i think they both do a good job but if you see the shutter speed as the fan was running as you can see on iphone like it looks stable it was still running but on samsung as you can see there is a, a little bit motion blur so yes a samsung will have that shutter lag but overall when it comes to look iphone is going to produce that warmer tone and the Samsung is going to produce that cooler tone but most of them are going to be equally good even the dynamic range outside looks great on both of them. If I talk about the 2x shot they also look kind of identical but when you zoom in you'll be able to see the Samsung is doing a little bit over sharpening where iPhone doesn't. So I think when it comes to details iPhone is doing a much better job here. When it comes to 3x shot, the iPhone is a little bit more zoomed in. I think this is 77mm shot. I'm not sure about, about the Samsung. But yes, as you can see, the 3x is more zoomed in on iPhone. And overall, they both are doing a good job in my opinion. Uh, if you see at the trees, I think the colors are better and more natural on iPhone. But apart from that, they both are good shot. Now when it comes to 5x telephoto shot, S24 Ultra has a telephoto lens but iPhone 15 Pro doesn't. But one thing you'll notice, as you can see there is a net before my balcony which you can easily see on iPhone but you can't see on Samsung. So I think the AI doing its work and just removing a lot of things but this is not the actual scene. So when it comes to the actual details, iPhone is doing a little better job but if you're not comparing them side by side, you will definitely prefer S24 Ultra picture. And this is the 5x shot on both of them. As you can see, if it comes to 5x, you can actually get away with iPhone 15 Pro easily. But if you want to go more zoom, then you can choose S24 Ultra. If I talk about the dynamic range on 1x shot, I think they both are doing a good job. But I think iPhone on that tree is looking much better because as you can see, it's not washed out. 
as compared to S24 Ultra. And even here, as you can see, when it comes to contrast, I think iPhone is doing subject a little bit more favor. So in the S24 Ultra shot, you'll be able to see it's a bit dark and you won't be able to see all the hair of my cat, but you can see more on iPhone 15 Pro. If I talk about the white balance, I think Samsung is doing a much better job. The color is more accurate on the Samsung here and even the light as well. Somehow iPhone is adding that yellow tint here and it is making everything a little bit more warm. And even when it comes to the lighting, I think the Samsung also doing a much better job when it comes to the light behind my monitor. So it was purple as you can see and it's able to distinguish it better as compared to iPhone. But overall, they both are doing a good job. So you're not gonna go wrong with any of them. This is the front camera recording from both of the phone. They both are recording 4K 30 frames per second. You can also do 4K 60, but this is 4K 30 because the video is going to be 4K 30. As you can see, my skin is really red on iPhone. So I think the Samsung is doing a much better job when it comes to the sun. But for HDR, they both are doing a good job. I would pick Samsung, I guess, probably here. So this is the rear camera recording from 15 Pro and S24 Ultra. They both are recording at 4K 30 frames per second. So there's sun out there so you can see the HDR, how they both are performing. I'm gonna slowly walk now so you can see the stabilization. I don't think the stabilization is the issue in any of these devices. It is I think going to boil down to the processing and the colors. And you can see the sun is right there. So let's see how they're going to perform. So this is the 4K 30 frames per second from both of the phone in indoor lighting. As you can see this is artificial light and you can see how the colors are performing. Now I'm going to go in the natural light and we'll see like how the colors change and you can see me walking and the view outside with HDR and this is Kiko sitting here. Kiko say hi. So the videos are better on iPhone 15 Pro. The photos can be a draw because I like the details and sometimes I share on 15 Pro. Sometimes I like the colors on uh, the S24 Ultra if you want to post on social media. So the, it is a draw. I can pick any of the phone and I won't be disappointed. I actually prefer sometimes that 5x telephoto lens but that can be changed if we go for iPhone 15 Pro Max if you want to spend a little bit more money. But overall, this phone does everything for me and even the 2x details is much better on this phone as compared to S24 Ultra. But S24 Ultra will give you those AI features which are missing on the iPhone 15 Pro. So what is my overall pick? See, if you're not deciding the phone based on size and OS, S24 Ultra will be my first pick. I think this is one of the best phone out there and it is better than iPhone 15 Pro in almost every single way. If you have Apple ecosystem, yes, it makes sense to go for 15 Pro because even though the Samsung ecosystem is good, it's still not as seamless as the iPhone or Apple ecosystem. But apart from that, I think S24 Ultra is a much better phone and I don't think there is a competition there. If there was a smaller S24 Ultra, I might have switched back to Android, but that's not the case. But every time I pick my S24 Ultra, I enjoy using this device over my 15 Pro. Let me know what do you guys think about it, if you have any of these phones, or which one will you pick and why. My name is Rohit, I'll see you in the next one, till then. Bye.